Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Slamming Whitetails. Can't believe it's week six already, but here we are in uh, the best time of the year, November, and everyone knows what that means out in the hunting woods. It's time to get in your stands and really start looking forward to seeing a lot of big bucks. So we're going to get right into the action. Cody Chris goes after a big buck he calls Tallbrow, and uh, something happens that no one thought was going to, and he actually sees him. Yeah, maybe if Cody's phone didn't go off, he would have shot a nice buck, or maybe an oak tree. Okay, okay, I'm on him. I know, go, go, go. Don't move. Well, in all seriousness, guys, we had a great weekend in the woods, and uh, there were a lot of bucks going down around southern Wisconsin. Uh, we're going to jump right into Tanner's next hunt. He's going after a buck that he had on trail camera all summer. He disappeared, just as they always do once they shed their velvet, and uh, he made an appearance over a beautiful food plot that Tanner put in, and it worked out. Yeah, so all morning it was raining, and I knew once this rain quit, I think the deer, I thought the deer were going to start moving. And sure enough, once the rain quit, he was on his feet. So while this deer was coming in, he was trying to scent check me. But unfortunately for him, he was upwind. So as this buck was coming into my last shooting window, I drew back and I realized I bumped my camera. I stopped the buck and I bumped it again and then I shot him and I didn't really care about the footage at that time because it was my first bow buck. Meh. Well guys, that was a great buck for anybody, let alone your first bow buck on film, sort of I guess you could say, uh, but they're not all going to work out like you want to when you're self-filming. And uh, in those conditions, it just made it even harder. Well, guys, with all the success that's going around with everybody in southwest Wisconsin, uh, Tucker Lang pulled the short straw this weekend as he managed to drop his bow 15 feet from the tree stand, break his sight off, and not see a shooter buck the three days he was out hunting. So that's a bummer for him, but he still got a couple nice bucks on camera down there, and I'm feeling like he can get the job done pretty soon. Yeah, I know these next few me weeks, me and Stryker are going to get behind the camera and do some filming for uh, Cody and Tucker. And I'm going to get behind the camera for my brother who's coming back from college, and hopefully we can shoot one more shooter on the farm. Also, gun season's coming up here in the next two weeks uh, in Wisconsin, so we, got, we have another tag for that, and then me and Tanner will be done for the whole year for Bucks, so hopefully we can get on another one. And this weekend we're all going to be out in the field either filming or hunting, yeah. so... We're going to try to bring an episode to you guys every week from now on, so that's going to do it for this week's episode, so stay tuned, keep checking us out, check us out on Instagram and Facebook, like and subscribe and leave a comment, uh, it means a lot guys, thanks.